We have another Coronado problem, right over there. And oh, also another one right across the river. Which one should we go to first then? One more here, one more here, one more here. So in total, one, two, three, four. In that case, it might be better for me to go to the one over here first, but this one... Eh, this one's closer anyway, whatever. Can I select the quest? Thank you. It's really not too far. Do you ever open your tail in the wild? You're stunned. But you don't really do anything. You don't scream. You don't make noise. You don't fan out your tail. Ooh, this has got to be it. Guarded treasure. More Arcus Fours! Oh my gosh. Golden Oriole would be a good idea then. Would R even be any good here? I got no clue. But I definitely need Tawny Owl. Golden Orioles really putting in work. Oh, we got two here, I think. Two Arcus Boars. We just gotta take out those little patches so they can't come up from them. Here we go. That's one. And where's the other guy? Oh, it's a little bit over here. Quit it! Okay, we have Golden Oriole, but we do have to be a little bit careful about the physical attacks. I can't even see what's going on here. There's too much foliage. Did it die? Oh, thank you. More Arcus Boars. Dead. Just dead. That much blood? From an Arcus Boar? Blow itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. That's a lot of blood. Orders on elegant stationery. Hmm, what have we got here? No chance this letter wound up here by accident. Fail me this time and I'll skin that splotchy hide off your rump. Pick up the next batch of seedlings tomorrow from the Teshamutna hatchery. We need to infect another spot at Coronada. But don't be late because a team from the vineyard on the other side of the river's got the key. V. We saw a similar letter back on the Fermentino side. Interesting. This note plus what I found earlier. Some third parties causing problems at the vineyards. Need to find the spot the letter mentions. Bet I'll find something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key opens. Yeah, we found another note on the other side, and... Was it signature C? This one's signature V, which, at first glance, I wanted to say it stands for Vermentino. Maybe that's a misdirection. Do I even have to go solve the other problems then? Wine Wars, the Deus and the Machina. Eh, probably would still be nice for me to do it, since it is a thing. But, the place that's mentioned in the letter, near the Teshamutna place, is all the way down here! That's farm. Let's go solve all the problems to begin with then. We'll save that for later on. For now, I'll go here. Are we all done here? I think so. According to the orders that we just found, it seems like Arcus spores do have something to do with seeds. The letter talked about infecting areas, so it sounds like you can go to your local black market and be like, Hey, I'd like to buy a bag of Arcus spore seeds. Let's ride! Faster! Faster! Oh! 
now that I'm paying attention to it, I'm noticing a lot of people exploding from the art. Yes! It needs to happen even more often, though. I'd be happier. Oh! Ooh. I can do that too! Get away. Oh! <laughs> no! Whew. Oh, I forgot to fix my armor back when I was in Beauclair earlier. That's okay. We can do it right here. 40? All my armor should be pretty worn out, right? Not really. Just the... Uh, just the chest armor. What about my swords? 50. 74. Freaking put a thing right on it. Okay. So there were a ton of bandits here, but was that it? Just a bandit camp? Oh, that's right, because this is a question mark. It's not part of the wine wars. Right, right. How do I touch the stuff inside? It feels like I can, but I can't. Florins. Good stuff. Oh, whatever. Bandit's unsent letter. To Priamek. The Bells of Beauclair, House of Pleasure. Little brother, I'll be short and to the point. Feck, Philibert. Side strict starling and loth can lick my derriere. I'm on my own. Thanks to that flying silver hen, I can live like a Zeracanian pasha. Flying silver hen? The lads are glad too, because finishing off merchants is not all that bad, as work goes. Doesn't tire you much, and blood can be washed off. And what loot? Yesterday, for example, a caravan drove through full of barrels of rum and dried ham. Did we ever have ourselves a feast? Which is why I'm telling you, brother. Ditch that brothel business and join my band of merry men. I'm sure mom cries herself to sleep every night, thinking of her son working in a bordello. And it'll do her heart good to know I've got an eye on you. Your elder brother... Bar... Bartholomew? But like in, um, a Frenchy way? Martin... Tchaikovsky. Eh! Would a mother be more worried to know that her son is working as a prostitute? Or as a bandit? <laughs> I don't know, both of these seem like... At least prostitution seems to be legal here. Hmm. Next stop, the house is right here. Oh, hold on. This is not related to Wine Wars at all. What is this? Level 46? While wandering around to San, Geralt did not neglect his vocation and the true core of his existence, namely, pursuing and slaying monsters. Having found a notice on a notice board, posted by a merchant guild beset by some beast, the Witcher decided to go to the appointed spot to learn about the details of the matter. Alright. It's nice to change it up once in a while, since the Wine War stuff is basically glorified question marks, really. <laughs> Wild Kingdom. I wonder what this one's really about. Just good old slaying monsters? Trading post. Camp's abandoned, but a lot of this damage is recent. Guess I arrived just a little too late. Should look around still. Oh no! Oh no! Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm, aerial attack. Must have been. Slizzard, griffin, forktail. Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Draconid, gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? 
Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. It'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? What? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. I posted a number of signs, warnings, specifically to prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Oh no, I can feel it already. They're gonna make me decide. Do I want to kill this beast or not? Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. Hmm, <sighs> your coffers. Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead, but I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crowns. This unfortunate merchant's family to be duly indemnified as well. Geralt sounds angry about this already, without it being my doing. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. Your cast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Your cast was brooding then. Two eggs that she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. Okay, this is further complicating the problem because we don't want to be known as the killer of an entire species, do we? Who exactly are you? And how'd you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. Oh my god. The Salfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse. It seems like Geralt already has a leaning for killing the Basilisk, even without my input. Geralt always liked looking at things that don't exist. 
be it a vampire with a human heart or the last basilisk of a species that no scholar has classified. Discovering something thought not to be there, to be discovered, caused him great pleasure. That is why he took an interest in a contract which, at first glance, seemed banal, but proved to be very intriguing. It concerned the last basilisk of the nearly extinct species, Regulus Platinum. Oh, I think we've read a book about this before. That one inn where we found two books on basilisks? Hmm. The Silver Basilisk. Wait, the Silver Basilisk? Didn't we just read some letter about um, a flying silver hen? In the bandit camp that we were just at. Thanks to that flying silver hen, I can live like a Zaracanian Pasha. The lads are glad too, because finishing off merchants is not at all bad as work goes. Doesn't tire you much and blood can be washed off. Oh wow, this actually sounds like these people had a hand in killing the people at the camp we're at right now. Thanks to the flying silver hen, have they been killing people and pinning it on the basilisk? Let's look around a little bit first. Beware the white terror. Danger zone, do not enter. Any losses of life or property will be compensated by Count Borges de Salvaris. It's nice that he's doing this because he doesn't really have to. But at the same time, just like what Geralt said, you can't repay dead sons and husbands. Poor man. A horrid death, truly. Is this private property here? Like, how private is this place? I'm not really sure. Busted barrels. Content spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Yo Coco is so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. They seek to lure the basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. But actual people have died here. This is not just about money anymore. And I don't really think one basilisk would really affect the ecosystem, to be frank. Even if I didn't do anything, since there is only one female left, the whole subspecies will still die off eventually without my intervention. Strange. These burn marks. Beast venom make them? Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Can you not like hover over me and comment on everything I do? <laughs> basilisk scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Jeez. Could be more sensitive to fire this one. Alas, it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. Okay, so this thing is weak towards fire. And maybe we'll need a golden oriole potion. Oh. Okay. So if the basilisk really hurts somebody, whether or not it's the last species, last of its species, doesn't really affect what I think about whether I should kill her or not. It's sad from a scientific point of view, but people's lives, people have died here. It's not just about the science and whatnot. Trading post. Every self-respecting merchant does some business in the capital of Tucson, going to hear the latest gossip from the famed Bells of Beauclair in San Sebastian, or strolling down to the port to see if the docksmen have lost a barrel or two. But truly important business is conducted not in the city, 
but at this modest merchant's camp, an outpost far from the wine and song laden atmosphere of Beauclair's eternal celebrations. So there's a trading post here, and this is part of your property? But people are still here. There's some suspicion that they might be taking advantage of this guy's kindness on purpose. I don't know, I guess I don't really have a good handle on how private this place actually is. It's in the middle of the woods, and I don't really see fences around here. But clearly, this guy can't keep the basilisk under control. Poor man. A horrid death, mm. truly. It's a wild beast. According to the guy, it normally doesn't attack anybody, unless if you provoke it or come into the area. And to be fair, this guy did put up signs everywhere around here. Yeah. It's already right here, and people still come by. But maybe they don't know about this until they come here and see it? Mm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We can follow the scent, right? It's very faint. I can hardly see it. Oh. Are you gonna be following me the whole time? Well, probably, because he doesn't want me to um, kill it. Hmm. Odor's dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains, Clear as day. Well, the letter that we just read back again, it said something about how the bandits might have been trying to fake this whole thing, but... Can that be faked? Venom? Can Venom be faked? Sense perceptible again. There's a monster den right here. I'm not really sure how far we're going to be going. Maybe I'll just clear it out right now, just to get it over with. What was that? The Pits of Broom. This cave has a name. And guests to welcome me. Probably should get a head start on putting on that golden Oriole. Not bad. We're inside a cave system, so I feel like it's the Archospore's field of home advantage with all the poison and the dirt and the caves. Did it go there? Oh god. Actually got kind of close to death there. Now there was something sparkling over here. Oh! Feline armor! Lexandra's journal. Burned all my bridges. No returning possible. Not after I committed murder and took those Grandmaster diagrams. Probably already on my tail. Hope to finish a deal quick and start a new life in the South. My time as a Witcher is over. Can't trust Alane, especially since he insisted we meet in a bandit's den. Hid the diagrams in a cave which no ordinary man will be able to enter. If everything goes smooth, I'll collect my coin, tell him the cash is in the pits of broom, then offer to escort him there for an additional fee. If it doesn't go smooth, and someone finds these notes, know this. It was worth it. Worth killing my own. Worth stealing. Worth anything to escape from a miserable life on the path. Every Witcher's felt it. The urge to drop it all and ride off into the sunset. This one decided to act on the urge. Costs be damned. No one lives there anymore. Might still find some clues, though. Oh, we didn't see the beginning of this uh, this quest. I don't think there was a thing on the map for this, right? So, 
We were probably supposed to go to the other one first, or they expected me to. So we don't really know what the full story of this one is, but it sounds like this witcher turned to a life of being a robber, being a bandit. You always get this conception of witchers being rather emotionless and stoic, but once you look around, everybody has their own personality, definitely. Oh. Love letter signed by Belle de Gunnis. That's a lot of stuff. My cherished friend, Gustav, I yearn to thank you for our last rendezvous. At the very thought of another, I burst with rapturous joy. Can you believe two people previously unknown to one another could become so close so quickly? You asked if there is anything I prize most dearly. Well, Gustav, I have always had a fondness for flowers. My tragically deceased fiancé would gather them for me in the pits of broom. I'd be lying if I said I had ever seen blooms more fair. Ah, the very thought that you, too, would go to such lengths and pick me a bouquet with your own strong hands. It makes my heart skip a beat. If you were to bring me those blossoms, it would prove you truly love me. Yours forever, Bella de Gunnis. You have a tragically deceased fiancé, and now you have a tragically deceased to be fiancé. Poor dude died here and nobody even knew. I wonder if he came here first, or did the Witcher come here first? This cave has probably been around for thousands of years, so a lot of different things took place here. Now let's get back on the Basilisk's trail. But we can meditate before that. Mm-hmm. Here. Oh no! Just as I expected. Second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Drop them for some reason? Dear Gaston, in reply to your question regarding the planned transport route for the barrels of tannin, allow me to confirm. The official itinerary supported by the guild still goes through the lands belonging to Count de Zalvaris. The board sees no reason to deviate from our traditional path. The Count has pledged to cover all eventual damage caused by the Great White Terror. So even in the case of destruction of the entire cargo, the guild will suffer no monetary losses. Uh, yeah, but not human losses. But this guy didn't know. It sounds like the guild knew about the whole trying to get money from the count thing, but the guy actually doing the transport, he didn't. And yet, he's the one who had to suffer for it. I'm trying to think about why the basilisk would have dropped this guy. Is it because they're trying to tell me that it's not actually the Basilisk, but part of the band that's trying to fake this? What? Here's something, but it's no Basilisk screech. Human voices. What kind of language is that? Oh, the Crinford Reavers? Oh, they must be trying to kill the thing too. Yamo, Harry, prepare the equipment. Beast wandered off somewheres. We got to lure it back. And who might you be? Funny, about to ask you the same. They don't recognize me. They call us the Reavers. Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Mm, remember back in the novels, 
We went on a trip with the Cranford Reavers before to try to catch Saskia's dad. But evidently, these aren't the same guys. Geralt of Rivia, I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Bohold, Kennet and Desbert, new boy too. Ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Bohold mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. A professional. Good you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Could use another pair of hands. Fee what we've gotten from the guild, we'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen of a near-extinct subspecies. Oh. Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? Far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. But we don't know for sure. Oh, why is this time limited? Ah! Uh. Basilisk lives for now. We're not gonna kill it. A witcher defending a beast. Ever seen that, lads? You like them peaches? Ah! No scrapping with filth today, it seems. But, but, you made some mention of coin, as I recall. I did indeed. And the word once given? Your share, witcher. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Easiest job I've ever done. Godspeed, witcher. Strange working with you. Strange, but nice. Godspeed, boys. You spared your cast. I thank you. And be assured, I'll take great care she not dine on any other souls. Gotta try harder. Figure out a way to keep folk out of this area. Yes. That I shall do. Fences. Master, you must accept more, be it a symbolic sum. Had you not come along, the reefers would surely have slain my Yokast. Oh, this one... This one is really hard, and I don't feel like accepting the coin, actually. And to be clear, I don't care about the Silver Basilisk being this guy's family crest symbol or whatever, but I do feel like there is some contention as to whether the thing actually killed people because of the evidence we found earlier. And I said that I don't really care about the sign stuff, but it is sad that we'd be killing the last specimen of a subspecies. In many ways, it's kind of like me, an outcast. All alone in the world. This one is hard though because if I try to think of a modern example, if you. if somebody wanders into somebody's backyard where they own a dog and the dog kills the person, yeah, the people shouldn't have trespassed, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that the dog didn't actually kill the people either. But well, at least he seems grateful and. I really hope he takes more measures to make sure nobody dies. Don't need any more. Rather you paid it out to the families of your pet's victims. Noble of you, master. I shall take the advice to heart. Your cast has flown her nest. Must have sensed a threat. Likely to return eventually, though. She'll return. Always does. I suspect I might even know where she's gone. I tracked her away and believe she might have found a new mate. It's an ordinary basilisk, not a silvery one. Oh. But something might come of it. Who knows? Your cast could lay new eggs. Perhaps produce an entirely new crossbreed. Sure, I hope not. Take care. I'm to deliver a lecture soon before the Beauclair Nature Society. I shall mention you, Witcher, with the utmost possible veneration. Oh, I don't know if I did the right thing here. I really, really hope you take some measures to make sure nobody else dies. Maybe we'll get to see the Basilisk if we come back later. Dead horse. 
Huh. There doesn't seem to be any human bodies here. Just animals? Hmm, maybe that's a sign that it's good for us to spare her. But I don't know. Deer. I wonder if it'll be able to have babies with a regular basilisk. Well, the bloodline would still get diluted, but I mean, some of it is still staying. I'm to deliver a lecture soon before okay. the Beauclair Nature Society. I shall mention you, Witcher, with the utmost possible veneration. I'd prefer if you didn't mention me, actually. It's fine. It's not really anything. Well, that's another one down, I guess. And we are facing right towards where the builders should be bringing the cargo for the Prophet Lebiota statue. Perfect. Is this the head or something? Anybody here? Not good. Yeah, this is not good. <sighs> One camp of dead people after the other. Oh, what? Oh! Don't tell me it's a silver basilisk! It's right next to its nest! <laughs> Blood. Lots of it. Doesn't even seem like blood. Venom rocks. Well, that really doesn't seem like blood. How it's seeped into the ground like that. Burnt tent. Kikimors. Oh no. Yeah, you see the stone slabs here. The Kiki Moors went this way. Did anybody make it out alive? I don't think I saw any human bodies just now. Wait, where'd the trail go? There? Oh, God! Oh! Some stench. My face is itching looking at this. We gotta kill it. Ugh. Remember, these are the annoying guys with the toxic thing, so we really don't want them to be hitting me. Oh my god, they're burrowing underground and all that, though. Annoying. just came out of nowhere. Look at my toxicity level. I'm pretty much already on the edge of losing health from high toxicity. In fact, I am. White honey, ASAP. Such a waste since I had so many nice bonuses and all. Kick you more eggs. Need to incinerate these to ash. Yes. Oh. So, missing workers. This is what became of them. What? Who is that? Oh, it's completed now. Who am I riding with? What? Because I'm bored. Oh! Climbing. I thought I was Once riding with a friend, but that was a bandit next to me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on, come back here. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Woo! Yikes! There we go. The statue completed already. Somehow, I was able to tell him about the cargo being here, and the statue was completed, before I even got my reward from the foreman. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a knight for hire thing right here. Let's go for that too. And then afterwards, 
Uh, there's a lot more of these Nikon drags, and the Vermentino stuff is probably stuff that we should get to, too. Grandmaster Feline Armor is here. Well, let's just go to the one behind me for now. <laughs> when the cutscene happened, I thought I was riding with a friend. We were gonna go see the Leviota statue together, something like that. But not at all. <laughs> Starling? Is that who's here? I feel like we might have stumbled upon a big sight here. I can smell you carrying already. Come on, Nancy's! Bloody stool! Seems like there's a lot of people here. Oh my god! Tony Owl would be good. And Hangman's Venom? <laughs> I didn't know Ark could do that. Oh, that was kind of cool. That guy caught mid motion of swinging his warhammer. Oh! Whoa! Thank you, Undying. More? I'll take him from the left. I don't think so. But move. Oh. Is that it? That can't be. There is more. Pucker! Pucker up! <laughs> the fire went out. Take cover! Don't let him catch his breath! We might be coming up on Hans here. So we might have to be careful about things like the guy running for the torch. This time, let's not accidentally activate that emergency signal thing. The other time was a lot of work. Whew. Circle him! Circle Bad him! Idea. Oh. You dare to Come here, buddy! Me? Oh! Me? No! Sorry about that! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh no, it's not a Hans. We finished. People are back. It's thin scrapings around here. At least the weather's pleasant. It is. One small blessing. And it seems like there's an inn here too. The Silver Salamander Inn. I feel this burning, stopping sensation in my ribs. Hey, that's what we saw the prompt for earlier when the Prophet Leviota cutscene kicked in. Don't really know what was happening, but... Whatever, I guess. Witcher! Witcher! <sighs> a word might I have said. Hail Geralt ap Rivia! You know me. Ad Feyen! Just what we needed! A witcher with stones of granite! That... Bleder Hansa has terrorized this land too long! Thank you for your aid, Vatgan! Oh, there was a Hansa. An elf guardian a long way from home. And he's not a soldier. Don't see that often. Warfare did not appeal to me. My Vafer, however, meaning my father, he fought at Sodden Hill. Survived despite a lung run through with a spear and a right hand that went missing. 
Yet the injuries meant he could no longer serve in the Impera Brigade. Here in Toussaint, the climb and wine bolster healing, and a war pension paid in Nilfgaardian Florence buys much. An inn, for instance. I thank you, Witcher, for your aid, for recovering my patrimony. Ard dank. You're welcome. When you think about how Toussaint is a Nilfgaardian duchy, then he's not really that far away from home. Show me what you're peddling, Nilfgaardian. Do you want my junk? I'm getting a little bit full again. Not super full, but... Eh, I guess I'll sell this. Yeah, we don't even need Redanian Cordials, Mandry Cordials anymore. Because we've pretty much crafted everything. Can have this stuff. Hammerhead, axe head. Peacock feathers? Odorous peacock feathers. Hmm. I feel like I don't want to sell the spoons. Just because I want to build up my own collection too. <laughs> Knives though. To sell a knife. Yeah, okay. That's probably good enough for now. All of that selling only gave me like one unit of weight back. <laughs> okay, whatever. Thank you. So long. Bloody Hanses. It's good you drove them off, Witcher. Aim to hop on a horse after making merry? Don't even consider it. Pretty quiet place you got here. I don't see any customers around. Hmm. Let's pick up the rest of the stuff and get out of here. You can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I All is in order! A lot of people die near the entrance here. The White Terror. Oh, wow, they have signs all the way this far? So the guy does give people a lot of advance warning. Speedy Eugene's Journal. If our fearless leader Starling Stragon's going to write everything down in his notebook, why, then I'll do the same. And I have plenty to write about. For the way we pillaged and plundered the Silver Salamander till it looked like a pile of dank diarrhea was positively epic. Whole Hansa had been fixing for ages to make a jaunt over to the tavern. For how long can you sit twiddling your thumbs at a place as foul as the ruins of Arthak? Water up to our ankles, fungus everywhere, and the wind blowing so fierce, our bums pucker. Why the dead dong diddle stick around? So we didn't. We got our doo-doo together and went to work. Hit them so hard, before they figured out what was going on, half of them had already been hacked apart. It was over in a flash. In fact, we got so carried away, not a living soul was to be seen, though it seems a few managed to scatter into the woods, including that blasted Elf Guardian owner. But we'll see the tracking down survivors later. Meanwhile, we'll drink a bit, sing a bit, and then head out for a good hunt. So there you go. My memoirs. Signed me, Vice Head of the Hansa, Speedy Eugene. Was there a signal tower here that I just didn't manage to see? Well, not gonna complain about it either way. My hands shake so bad. Blimey. I cannot hold my tools. Oh. Is someone fighting around here? Drink! Give me a drink! I feel like I'm hearing someone fight in the distance. But I'm not sure where. Works hard on the nerves, eh? It's why you're so oh. gray. What the heck? Same journal.